everybody, it's Brandon again. Uh, if you've been watching the channel, we've been looking at this B-Link Mini S computer that uh, I got and I promptly put Chrome OS Flex on it. And what we're going to do in this video is test out some different gaming scenarios on this thing on Chrome OS Flex. Now, some of the prerequisites, if you want to follow along and do this on your own Chrome OS device, I have videos about all this stuff. I uh, First, you have to enable the Linux environment and see my video on that. Then you have to I installed Wine, so I have a video on that as well, of course. And I installed Steam, which I have a video on that too. And I did install Lutris, although I haven't installed any Lutris games on that yet. Oh, and I also installed Flat Packs. All this stuff I have videos on. You can uh, go to my channel and search for any of those. So before I get started on all this. Uh, I just want to say that before I put Chrome OS Flex on, this um, B-Link Mini S computer did come with Windows 11. And I did install Steam on Windows 11, and I tried all this stuff out on there. And just so nobody gets like false thoughts or bad impressions up front, all, all the stuff I'm about to show you worked better on Windows 11. There's no question about it. In fact, on Windows 11, even though this uh, little mini PC only has a uh, Celeron processor, um, I was able to install and run the Doom 2016. That's the newest game I tried on it. And it worked. I was able to play. Um, now, you could count the FPS on one hand, so that's how slow it was going. But it worked that I don't think there's a prayer of that happening on the Chrome OS and that's something anybody one who's trying to use Chrome OS flex needs to be aware of or probably regular Chrome OS it's still not going to be there for gaming now I know there is supposedly native steam support coming to Chrome OS in the future I think it's already available on some real Chromebooks but uh, it's not there yet for what we have to do here we have to go through the Linux emulation to use a Linux steam which is what I think the real Chrome OS uses too for their official implementation but let's go ahead and get into it uh, but the bottom line is if you don't want to see everything I'm getting ready to show you is um, that if you watch my older video when I use the laptop the Asus laptop with the four gigs of RAM and the slower Celeron processor the gaming is better on this than it was on that but it's still not great I can see where if you had Chrome OS Flex on a high-end desktop computer, gaming might actually be kind of doable in a lot of instances. But on this, it's, it's doable to some degree with an asterisk by it. But it's still not something you're going to want to hang your hat on. And so let's go through it. First of all, I'm going to uh, load up Minecraft. And the reason why is I've tested Minecraft on several other Chrome OS Flex devices and I couldn't even get it to start. Uh, well, I could get it to start, I could log in, but I couldn't get into a game. That's all different. I can get into a game now and play with this. But the thing is, it doesn't save my login. I have to re-log into my Microsoft account every single time, and I don't know why. I wonder if Microsoft is kind of detecting that um, I'm not running this on a supported device and just trying to make it as annoying as possible. I don't know. <clears throat> but this will go ahead and load. But uh, I want to kind of show you guys how long it takes things to load going through Chrome OS Flex. So I'm not going to skip any of the loading times on any of this. Because that's one thing you're going to have to be aware of if you're trying to do gaming on Chrome OS Flex. It's not as snappy as you'd expect. Now, um, if you're doing browser-based games and web games, it's a different story. It runs all just as good as it would on any other platform. But... Um, Whenever you're going through Linux, I've noticed this. It's not just on games. It's on any Linux app you would install on Chrome OS Flex. Uh, the loading times are just slower. Um, it's not so bad once you get into a game and start playing. But, I mean, if you look at this. Here we go. Let's say play. See, you get this bar down here. Something went wrong. You'll be logged out. You have to log in again at the next session. I don't know why it always does that. Maybe you guys know why. Maybe it's not a big deal. It will be interesting to note. I have some, uh, like I installed Civilization Five on here also, which I'll show you in a minute. It loads faster than Minecraft. So a lot of it's probably that it's also going through Java. But anyway, here we are loading. I 
got single player. I uh, started World yesterday just to test. We'll go ahead and play it. Now, one thing, if you're going to be doing any kind of gaming on Chrome OS Flex, make sure you go into the Chrome Flags, and there's one called, like, Pointer Lock for Linux. You're going to want to enable that. Otherwise, uh, gaming windows can't trap your mouse pointer. So, like, on Minecraft, you'd try to walk around, and you're, while you're looking, your mouse pointer would just leave the window. You need to uh, go ahead and enable that Pointer Lock flag. And basically, for any game you're going to do, uh, that runs in the Linux container, you're going to want to have that enabled. So that's a, um, a helpful tip, hopefully, for you. So yeah, on the other laptops I tried this on, I wouldn't get past that little box where the percentage is going up and it's loading. That would be as far as I can get. But now I can actually get into the game. Um, it's kind of choppy right at the beginning, but once it uh, loads up and everything, it's it pretty much works and it's playable. Now, obviously, on a faster device, this would run a lot better. But, you know, that goes without saying for everything. This is still a Celeron processor. One of these days, I am going to try Flex on a high-end machine and just throw every game I got at it and see what happens. But most people who are going to be using Chrome OS Flex are probably going to be on a low-powered machine like this. So anyway, there's Minecraft. I'm not going to uh, play around with it too much, but it works. So, um, I'll just let it save here, and then I'll close out. <clears throat> or while it's saving, we'll go ahead and launch the next game. Okay, I'll quit. Like, I mentioned Civilization Five before. I wasn't going to dare try Civilization Six because just in my head, I figured it probably wasn't going to work at all. No, maybe it would, now that I've seen how Civ Five actually runs pretty good on this thing. Um... So we'll go ahead and let us load. This is one I installed through Steam. And one thing I noticed, every app that I installed through Steam, it's got to open an empty terminal first before I launch it. I don't know why. But it, that's what it does. So, but you can see it, um, for the most part, loaded, at least to the title uh, videos, faster than Minecraft did. Which is positive. <clears throat> so here we go, we're loading this. I think this part took about a minute when I tried it. And um, it originally had the resolution set at uh, 10, what is it, 1024 by 768. Uh, the only other option it gave me was to use the full resolution of this monitor, which is 1080p. So I set it for that and there was no stuttering or performance loss uh, related with being at 1080p. The graphic settings I looked at it were all kind of in the medium range. I didn't change any of them. Ooh, looks like it crashed on me. We'll try that again. We'll try one more time. That's, that's a good uh, opportunity to mention this. I have had several crashes of the Linux container while trying to do gaming on this thing. So that's another thing you got to be aware of, where um, Chrome OS Flex just kind of still isn't ready yet to do gaming. This uh, machine does have 8 gigs of RAM, which should be plenty for any of these games. I mean, the first machine that I tried to Civ 5 on had 4 gigs, and it ran. So, so I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, I've had several crashes trying to install stuff. Um, a lot of things I had to try to install multiple times because it would crash halfway through the install. So, yeah, that is, I'm glad that happened during the recording because um, I might have forgotten to talk about it. <clears throat> I've been contending trying to get all these games up and running with crashes left and right. And it's not the device, I don't think, because none of this stuff crashed while I had Windows on it, just so we know about that. And I might try Linux on this device in the coming days and see if it runs better. I suspect it will. Actually, on... um. On Linux nowadays, I can. I like older games. I don't play the the newest games very much, and I figure um, nowadays I have better luck on Linux than I do on Windows, because especially through Steam Play, I can uh, play all these the oldest original titles in my Steam library on Linux better than I can on actual Windows, especially the newer versions of Windows. So we're just gonna try this one more time. I uh, I promise it worked off camera when I was testing it, but. 
<laughs> maybe we'll be able to get into a game this time, maybe we won't. If we don't, we'll move on. <sighs> but, it, but it is something to be aware of. Crashes. Let's go ahead and click to continue. We'll try single player again. Can I load my game? See what happens. All right, we're in. We're in uh, Civ Five here. It looks good. It uh, it runs good. I only played um, Excuse me. half of a turn really. Just I just wanted to see if it would work. And um, gosh, what am I doing? It's been so long since I played Civ Five. Let's build a uh, worker. Excuse me. But if anyone's played Civilization, you know the uh, please wait in between turns it gets longer and longer as your game goes on. But here we go. It runs. It's playable. I think on a um, faster device, you'd have actually a pretty good experience. I think you'd probably even be able to play Civ 6. But it might also still have the crashing issues. I don't know if that's due to the low power of the device or if it's just the state of... Um, the Linux container right now on Chrome OS Flex. It could also be because I'm on the dev channel and there's some stability problems. I didn't try this on stable. So that could also be it. Keep that in mind. I guess I, I should have thought of that, about that from the beginning. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, the stability problems, it might be because I'm in the dev channel. I should have thought about that before. Now, I also tried to install Command & Conquer 3 through Steam Play. This is Windows game. And it kind of starts launching, but as you'll see here, then I get an error box come up that says I don't have DirectX 9. And I don't know why. There might be a way to fix that. I don't know. On um, I've installed this game on many Linux distributions through Steam Play, and I've been able to have it load just fine. So it's, it's not a Command & Conquer problem, and it's not a Steam or a Steam Play problem. It's something with the, uh, the Linux the Linux container. There must be some kind of, kind of dependency that I'm missing, and I I didn't mess with this all day. I don't know how to get past it, but I can't get this Steam Play title to work through Chrome OS Flex. So, which is another thing to keep in mind, because if I had Linux on this particular box, that would have run. And so, now I'm going to show you Half-Life 2, which I'm pretty sure does not use Steam Play. I think it's a native Linux title. <clears throat> And it should just load right up. But again, you're going to see the loading times. This is one Windows 11, of course. It worked right away, started right up, no problems. And for the most part, there's no problems here on Chrome OS Flex. It just took a little longer to load. But this actually wasn't too bad. Maybe the last time I did it was like first time jitters. Here we are, we're thinking about it. The title will come up shortly. Let's just load a game so we can get right into it. This is one of those games where you're definitely going to want that pointer lock flag enabled if you want to try to play it. That's going to apply to any first person shooter. Alright, so here we are. It runs pretty good. Um, I didn't look. I don't know what the settings are set for. I didn't change any of the defaults. But it doesn't look bad. I'm sure the settings are um, reasonable. But I do notice when I'm turning some kind of... There's stutters every once in a while. And I don't remember that happening when I tried this on Windows 11. So obviously the performance isn't quite as good. But I'd say probably it's playable. If you're going to be playing multiplayer online, it might not be so great. But for the most part, I'm fine with this. I'm going to quit out of that. And then I just want to mention Lutris. Um, I didn't spend a whole lot of time with Lutris. I, there was a request. I did a video a while ago on how to get Lutris up and running. I can get it installed quick and easy. I tried to install just Tuxcart, which is a Linux game, just to see how Lutris was at installing Linux games. And um, it got hung up on the install, and I never got past it. So I don't know what the deal was there. Yeah, I didn't spend too much time diving into it. I have installed 
tux cart on Chrome OS Flex through the Linux command line before and it worked just fine. So I don't know if it's a Lutris problem or what. But I, re I don't, I have to admit, I don't know a ton about Lutris. So I'm not going to ding that too much because I, it could just be a problem with me not knowing what I'm doing, which is definitely possible. So, so that's what's up right now with uh, the gaming on the Chrome OS Flex. It's not as good as gaming on Linux, and it's definitely not as good as gaming on Windows. But at the end of the day, if Chrome OS is all you got, you can do some stuff on it, as we've shown here. And I do suspect that on a higher power device, the situation would be a whole lot better. And I might do that in the future. And with the crashing stuff, I'm wondering if that is a Chrome OS problem, or if it's just the fact that I'm on the dev channel, I'm suspecting that might be part of it, because I have tested Steam and other stuff on lower power devices, and I did not have a lot of crashing at all, so that could be with the current build that I'm on. So maybe in the future I will test all this stuff out on, a, on an actual desktop class PC, and see how it runs, and maybe on the stable branch of Chrome OS Flex, and see if that's any better. But yeah, so that's what's up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything else you want me to test on this, you can let me know in the comments because I'll probably keep Chrome OS Flex on this little PC for a little while longer just to test some more things. Ultimately, this PC is going to um, get Linux on it and I'm going to make it a server for my house here. It's not going to stay as a Chrome box because you can't really do server stuff on Chrome OS. But, but yeah, at least for gaming, it is doable. And so yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe. We talk about Chrome OS Flex a lot. And like I said, if there's anything else you guys want me to check on this box while I still have Chrome OS on it, let me know in the comments and I will certainly do that. But until then, thank you for watching and have a good day.